back in 1988, I started a company called Hales Design Group. Uh, we designed and made uh, high-end audio speakers, so high-end hi-fi speakers, audiophile kind of speakers. I enjoyed very early success, got some recognition as a loudspeaker designer, and in the mid-90s that led to BMW in Munich reaching out to me to consult them on their OEM car stereos at the time, uh, specifically the 3 Series. And then Samsung in 96 or so asked me to design uh, two different high-end hi-fi loudspeaker uh, models for them. They uh, put their Samsung brand on them and sold them in South Korea as Halo products. So. Then in 2000, this company, everybody familiar with QSC, they reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to come on board and establish a research and development department for loudspeakers for us? And I said, sure. And uh, so I set up the engineering group there. I was loudspeaker employee number one at QSC. They were doing zero dollars in, in speakers. Now they're doing a couple hundred million in speakers. Uh, and while I was there, one of the other things I did is I got them this logo that they've been using for 25 years. Um, so uh, in 2004, I left QSC and founded what is now Pro Audio, Pro Audio Technology, where I kind of, kind of combined my two previous lives, right? Audio file sound quality, professional products, right? Professional loudspeakers. So Pro has been for 19 years been selling professional style products into very high end pri private screening rooms, essentially. So tons of A list movie stars and be in front of the camera, behind the camera, folks own Pro. We're not allowed to talk about any of them, but there is one we can talk about. But he kind of turned out to be a real dickhead, so we don't uh, we, we we don't mention him very often. But Vladimir Putin has a Pro system. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this company, Dolby, they have a little bit of influence in audio. They reached out to me in 2012, and I helped them with a very early prototype of the Atmos soundbar, right? So the little soundbar that throws the sound all around the room. Uh, so in order to do that project, I had to have a business entity. I couldn't do it as an individual. You couldn't be a consultant for Dolby without a, without a business. So rather than do it through Pro, I founded Theory Audio Design LLC. So I did that Dolby gig with Theory always intending to attach the brand to products. I just didn't know what the products were gonna be yet. In 2018, I figured out what the products are gonna be. They're hanging over your head in this room and in front of you. And then, um, so we began shipping products into the Cedia space in January of 2020. And then two months later, the world shut down. And so we got clobbered by the pandemic, just like everybody. So what it did is it slowed us down a couple of years. So we finally introduced Theory Professional to the Infocom folks uh, in June. We wanted to be there in 2021, it took us till 2023 because we were battling our way through the pandemic. So talk a little bit about the products. For both brands, Pro and Theory, you should think of us as a systems company because when you buy our loudspeakers, you need to buy our loudspeaker controllers to power them, right? So another way to think about it is as if we're powered loudspeakers, so like a Genelec or something, or, or a Meridian powered loudspeaker, right? We've just taken the electronics out of the speaker and stuck it in the rack where it belongs, but it's very much still a closed system. So you can't just connect the speakers to, you know, crown amplifiers. It won't work, right? So don't do that. So one of the characteristics about Theory, and you're going to see this if you go visit us in booth 4, 1543 upstairs, you can touch and feel all the products. We have a couple of them back here is we use premium materials throughout, not only the, the drivers themselves, but like our surface mount loudspeaker that's lit up right now uh, is made from machined and extruded aluminum. It's not a plastic <coughs> box with a plastic baffle and some drivers bolted to the front. It's a very robust, very inert, very nicely finished, compact loudspeaker, it's only that deep. So uh, one of the things you'll notice in the demo uh, from the very smallest speakers we play in the theory range all the way up to these big pro speakers, you're gonna notice just an accuracy of the sound that's consistent across all the models. So we're gonna play all the models individually with music so you can hear that, right? Um, in general, theory's gonna offer wider bandwidth, higher output, and higher value than the competitors upstairs. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. You don't have to take my word for it, you'll hear it today. So, and the way we get the value, it isn't necessarily that this is lower cost. It's not, it's higher cost. So theory products will be a little bit higher than the, the competition because we're made out of aluminum, they're made out of plastic, right? Um, so um, this is all compression drivers, this is carbon fiber cones, Our, <coughs> ours are, are higher end, more premium products, but we actually, at a system level, we actually might be a better value. 
we're, we're going to be, even though each part might cost more, the system cost might be parity or in sometimes less, right? So as an example, we have reps for commercial theory professional and for theory residential, which is the guys you talk to. And one of, in a couple territories, we have the same company for both. And uh, a rep in the Midwest uh, designed a, a paging system, uh, a, a life security system, uh, using one of the brands upstairs that you're probably all selling, right? One of the most well-known brands in this market segment. And in order to hit the SPL spec and the coverage spec, they needed 72 pendants, right? When we introduced our pendant, they redesigned the same system with theory pendants and they only needed 44. So they could hit the SPL and the coverage with 44 instead of 72. So think that there's not only a huge bill of materials cost difference there, but imagine the labor savings, right? Now you're only installing and wiring 44 speakers, not 72, right? So we're gonna be a higher value when you look at systems like that, especially as the systems get bigger. So our brand promise is to offer the highest performance available in any product category we enter. We don't mean that in any kind of arrogant way. We don't mean it as marketing hyperbole. We mean that very matter of factly, right? and we're gonna put our money where our mouth is. We're gonna play it all for you and we're gonna let you decide if we've done that, right? Um, also unique to theory is we're publishing the most accurate data, right? So we not only the most extensive, but most accurate data of any, any loudspeaker brand. On the residential side, you're probably not gonna see measurements from anyone, right? So in the commercial world, there's some measurements, but they tend to be very low resolution and very crude. We're publishing very high resolution measurements for all the models and that, those curves that you're looking at is the actual measure, measured performance of this Pro 2408, which you're gonna hear later. So the demo. So we're gonna play music, and then we're gonna blow shit up and kill people. So, <laughs> because, because we understand that's what you guys want, right? So last year we didn't kill anybody, and everybody complained, so now there's gonna be some mayhem and some guns and some you know, car crashes and shit. So, but we're gonna play a lot of music. Why are we gonna play music? Number one, that's what theory is. Theory's products for background, foreground, and even sound reinforcement. You'll hear at the end of the theory demo, we can do live sound, right? So, um, and even in the program, before we crash the cars, we're gonna play each model with music and show you the consistent timbre, right? We don't have 24 subwoofers in this room with 32 channels around, uh, 120,000 watts of power that are all playing at you at the same time, loudly and in your face. Why? Because we don't think that's very useful, right? How are you gonna extrapolate what one model sounds like when you do that, right? So we're not doing that. We're gonna play every speaker individually so you can hear it. This is what this does, this is what that does. This is how they compare to each other and this is how they compare to the outside world, right? So again, we're here not to show quantity or the biggest number of subwoofers in the room or whatever. We're, we're, our market push is, is for quality and we're gonna demonstrate that. So the first demo we're gonna do is just two in-ceiling loudspeakers this is the IC6 uh, in-ceiling speaker. Uh, it's a 16 ohm nominal load, but it also has a 70 volt transformer in it. So that's another unique thing about Theory, is upstairs you'll see brand A has residential ceiling speakers, and then they have their commercial ceiling speakers. And they're, they're the, the same thing, they just stuff the transformer in these over here, right? We, you don't need to do that. With Theory, all the products have all the features you need for commercial installs and for residential installs. So show of hands, who many, how many of you guys do end up doing some commercial work? 20, 20, 30% maybe. So the same products will do it all. Uh, so the first demo is just the two ceiling speakers by themselves, no subwoofer. Oh.
the lucky guys in the money seat row there were probably getting some decent imaging and sound staging, right, out of the out of the ceiling speaker. Let me explain a little bit about the demos I forgot to mention. So when, when we play something, I'm going to tell you what's playing, you're going to see on the screen what's playing, and then we're going to light up what's playing. There's one exception, and I'll point that out. But that's how you're going to know what's happening. So we're going to move on to the IW25 uh, in-wall loudspeaker. Fits in a 2 by 4 wall. Like the IC6, this also has a 70-volt transformer in it. All of the loudspeaker controllers can, can drive low Z or 70-volt systems direct. There's no output transformer. So um, same thing, just the two in-wall speakers, no subwoofer. <coughs> Ceiling speaker 675 MSRP, right? Your margin is typical 50-ish percent, so you can you can kind of figure out what the what the dealer cost is, right? So um, we're going to move on. We're going to go above your head now. Um, this is a fun one. Uh, we're going to play the two pendants in the middle. This is the one where we're lighting up different ones. So we're lighting up the two pendants, but we're using the ones on the middle truss here. But we are going to use that that subwoofer, the IWS 12-9 subwoofer. Um, that is the sort of commercial shape, although it's so compact, you can fit it into residential spaces pretty easy. It'll go in between 16 inch centers or 16 inch joists. You can put it in the ceiling, but there's a five and a half inch deep enclosure. You can see it on the poster in the back or upstairs in the booth um, that offers the exact same performance. So this, the base performance you hear from this, you can get as an in-wall configuration. <coughs> when you use theory, you only need 44, right? Higher output, much broader coverage. Yes, young man. Hi, I'm Mark Goldman. I'm VP of Sales for Pro with Theory. I just wanted to jump in and sort of talk dealer language a little bit more. That's our idea of what distributed audio can sound like with Theory. I was a dealer for 20 years, and I know that I was never selling distributed audio that sounds like that. Remember, that's one pair of IC6 speakers, which is the in-ceiling speaker, 
One sub, that sub is also available as an in-wall sub, five and a half inches deep to fit in a two by six wall. Now, when Paul mentioned that these speakers happen to be 16 ohms, what that allows you to do is put four of these on one channel of an amplifier. So our amplifiers are four channel. So <coughs> a very common zone package now is two speakers on channel one, two speakers on channel two, a subwoofer on channel three of this amplifier. That becomes a $6,500 retail zone. So that's what you just heard, but that would be an additional pair of IC6 speakers. So we're having a lot of success showing that in our experience center. What happens when we bring in users for our, our experience center is two things. One, as soon as they hear theory speakers, they immediately throw out the other brand that they're gonna use in their whole house. And then when we play them with the subwoofer, everyone adds several zones. I would say on average about 30% of the house with subwoofers. So on average, people were selling the $1,200 zone. We've now just upsold that to the $6,500 zone across the board. So there's great opportunity in residential distributed audio with IC6s because in our view, there's nothing that provides the performance uh, that they do at a pretty economical you know, uh, price point versus what you're getting for it. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention, we talked about the IW25s and Paul, you're going to play the SP25s next, right? Right, right? So we're going to play the, the brother to this next, and there's one more product that's not here in the room, which is the Theory Soundbar. Those are the SP25s. The Soundbar is three of those speakers effectively in one enclosure. So when you hear the performance of this, and now the SP25s, you can get that exact performance in a Soundbar. It's identical tonality, identical dynamic range to what you're going to hear out of the SP25s. So those are available in 65, 75, and 85 inch. So those products and the in-wall version of the subwoofer are on static display in 1543. Thank you. Oops, thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped on my really, really expensive tree. Um, <laughs> so we're going to play the SB25s, the two on the front truss, the two on the back truss, uh, with this sub, but we have another sub just like that in the corner of the room behind the curtain. So this is the four SB25s and two little baby subs. <laughs>
write away letters. I got to mail it today. Okay, six pendants and two baby sets, right? So uh, a couple days ago during setup, I was upstairs uh, on the main show floor and I was talking to a CEO of one of the more well-known companies that makes this kind of uh, product. And I was congratulating him on his success because they've had this like amazing growth over the last few years. And I said, how many SKUs do you have? And the number he gave back was over 6,000, right? You don't need 6,000 SKUs. All you need is three, right? So everything I did in this room, since you sat down, I did it with three, essentially three products, right? IC6 in ceiling speaker, which is the pendant, the IW25 in wall speaker, which is the SB25 surface mount speaker, and that subwoofer, right? So that's what theory is. You can get that kind of performance for your clients by selecting from five total products, right? You don't need to thumb through a catalog with 25 different six inch two ways to figure out which six inch two way is right for your project. All you need is one that sounds like that and that goes everywhere and does everything, right? So this can go inside, this can go outside, this can be a pendant inside, this can be a pendant outside. And so that's what we're here to do is make your jobs easier. Also, there's no EQ in these systems, right? You take the speaker out of the box, you connect it to the loudspeaker controller, you use your phone or your tablet or your computer, <coughs> You select the speaker preset and that's the sound you get and as mark mentioned that is the ceiling speaker so if you don't need a pen did you hear that sound that we just made okay you can make that sound with six ceiling speakers in a, in, a, in wall subwoofer in your clients spaces right so um uh coming um uh, as we talked about before, the SB25AW, which is the outdoor version of this guy, there's one on the back table. I encourage you to go uh, pick it up and hold it and see the build quality of that thing. It'll be available in black and white. Uh, IC5, uh, smaller ceiling speaker that's sealed, so we'll have a higher IP66 uh, outdoor rating for it. Uh, there'll be a pendant housing for it, so it'll look just like that, only smaller. And then both, both models will have outdoor pendant housings that you use them outside. And then this, this thrills me to finally be able to say that starting in January, uh, every loudspeaker controller will include Dante and AES67 as standard, right? So show of hands, who's using Dante? A few people, if you're not using it, you should be using it, it's fantastic. It'll make your distributed audio world much, much better. So uh, then a very high output 12 inch coax with this kind of sound quality, but that, if that's what six sixes sound like, what do you think six twelves would sound like, right? Also a giant pennant housing for it. We're gonna move some people's cheese. Um, and then uh, next year landscape, bollards and subwoofers for, for landscape. So, and they're gonna sound like what you heard today, right? So we're not gonna introduce a new product into a product category that doesn't perform like this. So we're gonna bring this sound quality to your garden essentially so a couple of bits of news we are now a dtools partner so if you're using show of hands dtools a lot of people so we're gonna both brands will be in dtools and uh also ease and ease address which is more of a commercial thing so i'm super late so i got to get moving uh pro um, we're going to start by demonstrating the iw or the i'm sorry the 2408 this just won ce pro best award here at the show the measurements that I showed you earlier, that was for this speaker. That was the measured performance of the speaker. The reason why this thing won is it goes a lot of places and does a lot of stuff. So you can, you can retrofit it into an architectural wall using this insert that we sell, and then you mount the speaker to the insert. You mount the insert to the drywall, and then the speaker to the insert. Or you can just mount the speaker directly to your framing. Or we make uh, an enclosure, and we sell with the pivot brackets. You can surface mount it, aim it wherever you need. And there are two flavors. So there's the zero degree flavor, which is this one, where the main listening axis is perpendicular to the speaker. And then there's another version called the dash 40, where the main listening axis is 40 degrees off perpendicular, right? So you can put them in a flat wall and aim the sound back to the money seat. This speaker was, bit, this speaker was custom designed for $800 million mega yacht. And the integrator's putting a DCI cinema on the yacht 
and I guess $800 million isn't enough to get you enough space to aim your speakers. So, um, <laughs> Dolby, to get the DCI Atmos license, you have to aim the speakers. They won't give it to you if you don't. So the integrator said, Paul, you gotta help me out. I can't aim anything. And so I built a speaker that had the aiming built in. Dolby said, good job, nicely done, Paul. And, and we got it approved, right? I don't know if you spend 850 million, do you get to aim your speakers? I, I don't know how that works. But anyway, I'm gonna move along. We're gonna play these in stereo, no subwoofer. <clears throat> This is an extremely high resolution loudspeaker. Listen to the delicate hi-hat work that's happening and the detail in the, in the horns and stuff. It's pretty amazingly high, high resolution. speaker was in, inspired by an $800 mega yacht. This one was inspired by that speaker. So this has the same 40 zero degree option. This thing rotates around so you can put the tweeter here. It is its own subwoofer. It goes down to 22 hertz and up to 23k. It can be a full range speaker and a subwoofer at the same time. So this could be LCR and the main subs at the same time, right? Because we have mixing and we have bass management in the loudspeaker controllers. So. Um, it looks like a giant PA speaker, but it's actually a very, very refined high-end loudspeaker, so I'm going to start by playing acoustic jazz. Um, and then we'll, when we crash the cars, we'll use this one too. So um, the thing to keep in mind is this speaker is only six inches deep. So it goes down to 22 hertz, but it's only six inches deep. <coughs> surround system on it's 25 channels it plays loud it goes low things blow up and you have a great experience with it all that means is you had a great experience with that system in that room at that time you never heard any of those speakers exposed for what they fundamentally really are what we're trying to show you today is these are fundamentally the best finest most accurate loudspeakers you could do a big multi-channel theater with we're showing you what they are at their core now, the only thing we haven't addressed so far is you have to have the dynamic range to fill a big room, and that's why we're gonna go blow some shit up in a moment. Yeah. But that's the point. This is the truth of what the speaker fundamentally is. So when you go and have that experience in any other room and you hear brand X, brand Y, brand Z, it could be impressive in that room at that time, but you really don't know until you uncover the core of what the speaker is. Yeah, so another way to say what Mark just said is, is you know, we can, we can do the piano, it sounded like a real piano, right? Now we're gonna sound like car crashes, right? So we can scale. Go into these big demo rooms and ask them to play piano. So what we're gonna play is five of these, these two plus one in the center. 
uh, and two 24 inch subs behind the curtain. So this is only 5.2, okay? It's not 31.29.75 or whatever. This is five speakers and two subs. Infrasonic, anybody in here done an infrasonic room or had a request for such things? The very high end of the commercial screening room, or professional, or sorry, residential screening room, the big shot consultants are all uh, desiring this. So we're gonna go into infrasonic, and then we're also gonna add more models with the zero degree, 40 degree option, so more of these kind of things. Anyway, I gotta run. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm not done. Uh, we have a very nicely appointed experience center in Southern California in Orange County. We're about 20 minutes from the Orange County Airport. So if you're in the neighborhood, come visit us. You can hear all the theory products. You can, we have two nicely appointed pro rooms. Also stop by for no other reason. In fact, we have two and a half bars in the place. So you can belly up to one of the bars, have a drink. If you want to see the theory products up close, booth 1543 on the show floor. Go to the big main aisle, walk to the back of the hall. When you see Kaleidoscape, turn left. And those are the websites and any questions.